Hey guys, this is Andrew from Andy Auto Detailing. Today I'm going to be doing something really different. I'm not going to be doing the whole talk to you, tell you what I'm going to do, give you tutorial step by step. Yes, there's going to be some tutorial. Yes, there's going to be some step by step. I'm going to try to do it in a different way. And um, yeah, mind me, this is all the camera from my phone. So maybe in the future I might get a better camera for you guys to view better videos. But for now, this would do. And I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing a window tint for my car right now. I mean today and I got this thing on uh, Lazada it's called magic tin it's apparently easy to install and easy to reinstall what I mean by that is it's easy to take off if you don't want it and it's easy to reinstall hmm. and apparently it can be done several times I'm gonna give it a shot because I don't really like the tint of my car because it's too light so I'm gonna be make it a bit more darker so today I'm gonna do it um, obviously I'm gonna take you guys on this journey uh, I have never done this before. I have never tinted my car or any car. So, but all I have to say is there's going to be a lot of changes. Yeah, and with the way I do things, I'm going to do something really different. I got inspired from a few guys on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot and see how this goes. And I'm going to take you on this journey. Let me say, say maybe it's going to be something like a vlog and a tutorial. Maybe a vlog tutorial. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, let's go. And um, I'm going to take you on with me to see how it's done and i think i got a package today so yeah let's go well there it is took it out of the wrapper Hmm. Basically, that's it. I mean, well, I'm pretty surprised it's actually packed this way. Well, let's get to it. Well, now I show you what you need to actually tint a car. And I didn't really get the stuff that you need to tint. So I'm going to use household stuff and see how it goes. So here's what I got. First things first, you need soap water. Apparently, that's what it says in the video. You need a ruler to get into tight corners. This is actually a kitchen spatula or whatever you call it. I use it because it really has a flexible tip or whatever for the edges and stuff. An old credit card or an old card, a microfiber cloth, a blade if you need, and obviously the thing. So let's get to the this car. <laughs> let's go. All right. Firstly, obviously you have to clean the glass with any glass cleaner, soap, water. A spray bottle and always remember to wipe with a microfiber cloth and make sure you take your time with the cleaning process because you don't want to leave any residue or any dust that might be lingering so make sure you wipe it clean with a dry microfiber cloth Right, so this is the part where you wind down the window just a bit so you can clean the edges which is very important because you have to make sure the tin sticks till the end and wind down just a bit more so that we can start with installing so here you put the card inside the cloth the microfiber cloth so it prevents from scratching the tint just using the plain card so you just wrap it with a microfiber cloth here's where you align the tint with your window remember this is wind down just a bit so it is exposed to just the tip on top Right now, so we will start with squeegee. Well, homemade squeegee. Always remember to wet the tip of the card wrapped with the microfiber cloth. And always start from the middle and work your way outside, removing all the air bubbles. 
well this is just me just doing some alignment with the edge and always remember to start from the middle and work your way to the corners so you squeeze it from the middle to up or middle to bottom and middle to side to side always from the middle removing all the air bubbles well as you can see here I actually found a speck of dust hence why I said in the beginning it's very important to wipe your window clean so you don't leave any dust well as you can see I had to remove the whole thing again just because there was a speck of dust and I noticed it while I was removing the air bubbles it was easy to actually remove it it wasn't that hard though so I had to remove the whole thing and redo again squeegee from the middle middle to outside and I kept doing same thing Alright, over here is me showing you how to use just a plain card or squeegee to actually work on the edges. So make sure you go through the rubber seal and make sure to push everything on the inside, removing all the air bubbles, working only on the edges here. Alright, so we're all done. Right now, I'm just using the microfiber cloth and using some soap water, or glass cleaner, and just wiping off any dirt or dried up soap. Make sure you clean thoroughly. Over here I'm using a hair dryer or if you have a heat gun you can use that. I'm actually heating the edges so that it can get a good tight seal and also to remove any air bubbles is a bit more easier using heat. And I decided to remove my door panel here because it was really hard for me to get through the bottom seal, the rubber seal. So removing the door panel actually gave me better clearance to actually slip the window tint at the bottom. And here I'm using just heat, just to disperse some of the water or any air bubbles that's actually trapped. as you can see it turned out really well mm, not bad after all uh, not really that easy but yeah I did it quite well though mm. anyway first time me doing it not too bad so you guys can see it 
Well, um, I could say it wasn't that easy. But yeah, pretty good. It does. I did remove it a few times, put it back on, and uh, straighten out the sides and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad, and I think it's okay. And really like how the finish went. I yeah, it did some time for me to do it, but yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can do it too if you can take some time and a whole lot of patience. Well, I really hope you guys like this video. Subscribe for more videos, definitely. This is Andrew, and I'm pretty sure there's more to come. Never look back and always move forward. This is Andrew from Andy Auto Retailing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you again next time. Ciao, guys.